if you're getting the PHP temporary folder is not set warning in your Joomla site, you might have to do what I've had to do with my unibrow. Learn to live with it. Brought to you by MySites.Guru. Do you have a Joomla site? Of course you do. Get a free site audit at MySites.Guru. Hey there Joomla fans, Tim Davis here. I'm a Joomla fan too. Thanks for tuning in to Maintenance Monday number 244 here on the Basic Joomla Tutorials YouTube channel where I show you my favorite extensions, tools, and tips for building and maintaining Joomla sites. I also build Joomla sites, maintain them, migrate them from Joomla 3 to 4. So if you're looking to hire someone short term or long term or even just to get you out of a bind, send me an email, tim at cybersalt.com. Okay, let's cut to the chase and get to today's topic. Now there is a good chance you're watching this video because you have a warning in your Joomla install and when you click on it, it says the PHP temporary folder is not set. Now let me tell you, I've been uh, taking a couple of hours and doing a lot of searching trying to find the fix for this and I want you to know, first of all, the best advice is if you can install extensions or upload images to your Joomla site and everything is working fine and you're getting this warning, don't worry about it you don't need to fix anything it's just a warning now if you really want to take that warning away let me tell you probably the best thing to do is to contact your web host and tell them that you would like the temporary folder for php to be set because when you read the forms there's places where it says put it in the php any file in the user dot any file in your account put it in the hd access file and i'll tell you there's a lot of cases where you can't do that your web host because of security has it set so that you can't override those settings but they can so if you really have to get rid of that warning you can make it go away and you can because as you can see when we refresh the screen let me go back here i have set the temporary folder on the server that i provide hosting for my clients so it's possible but don't spend a lot of time trying to do it in your own web space just contact your host if you really want that removed Subscribe for more videos. Until the next time, enjoy your Joomla sites and God bless.